What's up everybody, Peter here from the Sounder B and I just wanted to show you a few th things, tips and tricks in Tech It. So I've been playing Tech It for like 2 or 3 weeks and I think it's a really good time to do a video. Today I'm going to show you how to make steel with a fully automatic process, going all the way from cold coke, well, all the way to steel. And here we start. We start of course with coal. I have a level 3 relay uh, energy collector and disc condenser all hooked up with this block through a filter down which uh, drags the coal all the way to this loader. And this is the machine that does all the work. I don't need to do anything ever. So here comes a cart and it's going to take some coal, one single piece of coal from this item loader. And this is an on off switch where I can turn on and off this light if I wanted to. So it goes here and it checks if there is any cryocyte oil in any of these loaders. Of course I have the full quantum armor so I didn't cheat on this world anyway. So it takes cryocyte oil from all of these um, loaders and comes up here and takes any cocoa if there is any. So here's some cocoa coming right from this furnace. So there's four furnaces, of course, and going into the loader. Now we can see it in there, in the inventory, and now that the cut comes, we don't see it because it's taken. It goes up this elevator, and this is a really neat thing. Here we have uh, cart detectors, two of them, and no matter which side the cart goes, so either this way or that way, this will change the next time it goes. Oops, sorry, cart. So there we go. Now the next time it will go there. And that's important because I don't want this route to be really long to go all the way. Plus this is the really interesting thing when I use these um, two uh, lifts to go up and down. So the cart eventually, if it goes this way, it's recharged, is refilled with coal. And actually this, this one piece of coal can stack up in this, come on here, so you see there's a lot of it and it's really slow this process of making cocoa so that cart will probably sometimes fill up so I need to make a release valve for the coal but maybe later now this is a really good working system so the cart if it goes left and it has some resources it's going to dump them here so cryocyte oil and cocoa will be dumped in here and sucked through this pipe into this chest there's one coal coal now. So, uh, and there's another one coming. So this is a perfect example. I'm just going to dig a hole here so I can look. And now this sticked and it went away. Now, the whole process, it's all about timing. If you have too much coal here and you're using build crap pipe, it's going to overflow. If you have uh, too much coal here and the cart is going to take all of it or how you set it, and then you're gonna have a problem because the cart won't carry anything instead of uh, but just coal. So it's all about that timing, timing, timing. So what I did is set this to eight uh, seconds and set this to twenty seconds because that's um, how much time the cart needs to make a whole round around. And it's working pretty fine this system. So this um, this here sorting machine is powered by Bluetricity, which I think you probably know how to set up. And up here, the items come. So here I'm gonna follow um, some uh, bottle of creosote uh, oil and see what it does. So because it has a black box around it, because I marked it black, oops, the, it's going to go left here and into this chest where I have a whole load of cryocyte oil. And it's probably going to get filled really soon. This is a neat trick. If you like know it's going to be filled, you put one item so it automatically goes there. And while we're waiting for some cold coke, there we go. So always I draw two cold coke. And it's very important to draw two because if you draw one by one and you're slowly feeding it to this furnace, you need two for each ingot. So it's better to just wait for one and then pump two in the same time to pump each one. So I don't know which furnace this will go into, left or right. <clears throat> so let's see. So, yeah, it's in this one. So, it's going to get um, 
transformed into or not transform the iron goes to be going to be to a process of extreme heat and transformed well, yeah transform into steel now steel won't be here for even a millisecond because you just pump to here and goes to this cart which goes to this unloader and goes into here when I have a load of steel that rhymes I think so iron of course is coming from this um, this setup here which of course a relay energy collector and a condenser and I have a whole lot of steel if I need EMC I just take it I just take it from here so it's better having this uh, a machine like this when I have a load of steel uh, standing by when I can always use it than having to condense steel a million times a second so thanks for watching that's pretty much all about making steel uh, there's one thing I didn't show you it's how to set up your electricity but it's going to be a video by itself so thanks for watching this tips and tricks videos i hope you liked it if you did a like would be very appreciated or also if you want to see more of my uh, things and my brother dookie which i played in the server then subscribe to the channels and the and i'll talk to you guys later thanks for watching